everyone, it's Mel. Thank you so much for joining me today for my November Diversify Me and Reading Stats. So before I talk you through how I went with Diversify Me and what my stats are for November, I just wanted to point out yet another new shirt in my monthly wrap up. I showed you my Buffy shirt and I also have the My Little Pony shirt. Both were from Redbubble. Isn't that just adorable? I absolutely love it. It is so cute. So yeah, I just wanted to make sure that you guys had seen my shirt. Anyway, uh, so this video I'm going to be talking to you about my stats from November and also I'll be playing my Diversify Me game. This is my Diversify Me game. This is the game that I play every month to make sure that I am reading diversely. So the rules are that over here we have this smiley face column and I have a bunch of different things that I am trying to make sure that I am being mindful of when I'm reading. And each time that a book fulfills one of these prompts, I will get a line in that column. When I have three lines in a row, that's when I get to give myself a magnet. Once this magnet section is filled up, then I get to take a prize out of my prize box. However, if in the month I don't read a book by a BIPOC author or a book with LGBTQIA plus rep, then I have to take a magnet away. So far I've done really well. I've gotten all the way to November without any lines in the unhappy face column. So fingers crossed will go really well. I have a suspicion that I'm going to finish today and if that's the case then I probably won't do it again for December. I The same thing happened last year and I've got some other ideas for next year so I'll let you know about that in my goals video. So let's go ahead now and move over to the section here where I put that up and you can see how I went there and then I'll come back and talk to you about my stats. On second thoughts, I'm actually just going to put... No, it's at work. No, it does not. The board just there and I'll just move that there. Like that. All right, so let's go through and see how we went. So the first book is House of Hollow by Crystal Sutherland. Crystal Sutherland is not a BIPOC author, so I don't get a line there. There was LGBTQIA plus rep in the book, so I do get a line for that, which means that I have three lines, so I get another magnet. Then I don't think neurodiverse works, no. Mental or physical health, not really. Australian Aboriginal author, no, she was not. It was not translated. It, it was not a comic. It was not a short story. I did not read it as an arc. It was not non-European inspired. So just the one line, but that's okay. Then we have The Foretelling of Georgie Spider by Amberlynn Quay Molina. Amberlynn Quay Molina is an Indigenous Australian author, so I get a line for BIPOC, which is another magnet almost full. There was no LGBTQIA plus rep, so no line there. No neurodiverse, not really physical or mental health. She is an Australian Aboriginal author, so that's a line for that one. It was not translated, it was not a comic, it was not a short story, I didn't read it as an arc, and it was not non-European inspired, not really. Then there was The Boy from the Mish. Gary Lonesborough is an Australian Indigenous author, so that's a line for BIPOC. There was LGBTQIA plus rep, so that's a line for that one. No neurodiverse rep, no mental or physical health rep. Gary Lonesborough is an Australian Aboriginal author, so that's a line there. And also, I get another magnet. And that is full! So I get to do the prize box, which I'll do in a minute. It wasn't translated, it wasn't a comic, wasn't a short story, didn't read as an arc, not, on, not non-European inspired, I wouldn't say. Force of Nature, uh, actually none of those, <laughs> same for Exiles, Happiness for Beginners, mm, guess you could argue Mental and Physical Health, but otherwise no, none of those. The Accident, no I wouldn't say any of those are, mm, no I wouldn't say any of those either, Embers of London, 
none of those either, but that's okay because we filled up the entire magnet section. So let's do that. So we filled up all the magnets. That's exciting. So that means I get to pull a little bit of paper out of my, whoops, get to pull a little bit of paper out of my prize box and I get to do whatever that prize says. So it's gonna kind of give a little bit of a shuffle. Go op shopping slash book shopping with Michelle, then enjoy a drink after. We actually have a day just like that planned coming soon. So I'm actually going to do it again because we already planned to do that. All right, let's see. Keshet shopping spree. So Keshet is a local clothing store that I really, really love. And they're a bit pricey, so that's exciting. I get to go on a Keshet shopping spree and I'll have to take you along with me. All right, but now it is time for stats for November. And let me find my spot. All right, so in November, I read eight books. Well, seven and two thirds. I finished Rivers of London in December, but I only had a third of the book, less than a third of the book left, so I'm counting it as November. I read 2,759 pages, so that's taking away what I had read in December. I read seven physical books and one ebook, no audiobooks. I read two LGBTQIA books, two BIPOC books, both were written by Australian Aboriginal authors. There were no translated books, however. The genres were a little bit different this time. I had three contemporaries, one horror, one dystopian, two crime, and one paranormal. So nothing technically completely fantasy, although you could argue dystopian and paranormal are fantasy, I guess. My star breakdown, I had nothing up to three stars. Then I had one three star, two 3.5 stars, two four stars, two 4.5 stars and one five star. My star average was four and my corpile average was 7.454. So a really, really fantastic month and a really fantastic result for my Diversify game and I'm really excited about that. So I will not be doing that again in December um, and I've got other ideas for next year, so stay tuned for that. But anyway, that's everything from me today. Nice, short, quick, simple video for you. I really, really hope that you have enjoyed this game this year. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. Let me know whether you're planning on watching my Keshet shopping spree, if you're excited for that. Let me know, uh, yeah, anything you wanna let me know, basically. <laughs> if you'd like to leave me a comment, but you don't know, sorry, I just realized how kind of skew if you are. Sorry about that. If you would like to leave me a comment, but you don't know what, then leave me some kind of chart graph type emoji. All of my social media details are listed in the description below. So if you'd like to come follow me on any of those other platforms, please feel free to do so. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, like I said, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.